Hello, and welcome to another video with Anger Canadian. This time we're going to go over the best way to get the hardest artifacts on Ragnarok by going to Crystal Isles. So you're going to spawn in on the south. Make sure you have some sort of flying creature. I went with Crystal, sorry, Tropical Crystal Wyvern. A little bit of speed boost when you hit the water. So you're going to want to fly up, get your bearings. Now I'm doing this without a GPS because a lot of times, starting out, you don't have a GPS. Uh, and uh, if you want to get this done quickly, it's a good way to do this. And I mean, once you know where you're going. So you look around, find all of these rock pillars sticking out of the water. And you're going to want to go towards the tallest one keeping that pointy peak on your left. Uh, or right, depending on which direction you're coming in from. But you want to have that pointy peak either on your left or your right, because that's where we're going next. So here's the top of the tallest one here. Obviously at night, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb, not so much during the daytime. All right, so Artifact of the Hunter. Next, we're going to head to the Pointy Peak. Now, this is where the, I believe they're called the uh, Wyvern Heirs. That's Gamma up here. And that didn't help. That's Gamma again. All right, a little clearer. Now, I am playing on an unofficial cluster of servers so I cannot control the time of day uh, I could have did this on my single player but I thought I need these artifacts why not show me getting them in one run so you're gonna fly along the water here looking for the uh, bones sticking out of the sand there'll be an entrance here on your left you're gonna fly in here Nice and easy because of that blood wyvern and that possible ember. Okay, nice and slow. You're just going to head straight in here. These purple lock and just down right here. Now it's quite possible you might have to fight off one or two of these. And artifact of the devious. Let's get out of here quick, fast, in a hurry. Okay, maybe not so fast. All right, just find any any crack will do at this point. Get out, get out, get out. Uh, if you need to, bank for the water. Get yourself a little bit of speed boost. And then you're going to want to head straight up in the air and find the volcano. There you go. Red Ob Volcano. And you're going to want to head just a little bit of the left of the volcano. See those peaks right in front of us? We're going to head for that. All right. Now, we'll be looking for a waterfall. We're right about here, about 69. I think it was at 43, 44. Either way, we're heading up northeast. As long as you keep the volcano on your right, You'll be fine heading into these rocky cliffs just outside of the volcano area. Just straight ahead of us is the actual waterfall we're looking for on our right. Trees starting to pop in. And not the one on the far right. There we go. That's the one we're looking for. So at this point, once you have the waterfall in sight, you can start dropping down to get close. Uh, a few RGs, nothing to, to worry about. And you're going to land on, right next to these purple crystals here. And 
to hop off, look in the water, and uh, there we are, straight down. See, so far these three are fairly easy, other than the uh, wyverns and artifact of the mass. So, uh, yeah, the uh, air wyverns, or the heirs to the wyvern, whatever they're called, the pain in the, you know, ones we can't tame. Um, yeah, those. The only big problem, and like I said, Tropical Crystal, you're good to go. So now we're going to head to the northwest slightly. See this peak right here? We're going to head straight to that up towards the northern area of the map. And uh, it's a little bit of a distance. So we can... Uh, BRB, I guess. Okay, so now we're coming down into the next area. Just before you start getting into the snow, you see this lake down here. Bit of a river coming off the end of it. You see that waterfall right on the right. This is the second of the waterfall artifacts. So you'll just slide right in here nice and slow. You'll see some metal nodes that you can land on. Uh, ooh, water's a bit loud. And uh, here we go. The next artifact, Artifact of the Sky Lord. So that's four artifacts without loss of life, limb, or the um, sacrifice of a, a, a trusted shoulder pet. So Ragnarok is a little evil with those, those four in the desert. Um, this is a quick way to get those. And the one in the... Horrible, horrible cave. In the northeast of the map near Blue Ob. Uh, with all the creepy crawlies in it. These are those five artifacts that you need to do several bosses on different maps. And of course, once again, if you're on a cluster map. And you can bring the artifacts back from server to server. This will benefit you. Or if you're just playing on Crystal Isle, here's the first vibe. So we're heading toward the Blood Crystal Wyverns near Green Ob. The re reason why I put this one as last is because it is near Green Ob, and it's a quick and easy out for myself when I'm coming to do a run on, on these more difficult Ragnarok artifacts. So yes, you're going to fly in. Look for the... Oh, wonderful. Just... Just wonderful. Okay, so you're going to look for the, uh, the the lake in the middle here. Oh, look. Two blood wyverns. If I was in the middle of doing a video, I'd probably... Now, well, no. No, I'm raising them now. So you're going to look for the void on the wall here. So you'll see the red crystals on the side. There's a cave here, obviously, for those of you who are unaware. Any void like that is typically a cave entrance. So you land just outside, walk through this mesh, I guess. Mm, arc. Oh, look. Inside rain. No inside rain. Inside rain. No inside rain. I didn't even move that time. Inside rain. Yep. Once again, arc being arc. And there's the last artifact of the clever. So I was super annoyed with uh, having to go get these lost several of them when uh, some uh, fellow players on the on the cluster uh, cowboy if you're listening thank you explain that uh, you can actually go to different servers bring them over so if you're lucky enough to be on a cl cluster that actually lets you do that you know hey here we go 